Vancouver. Welcome back everyone to Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Your cooking show. But now it's gonna be also your, I would say, because I gotta name this uh, new uh, addition to my cooking channel. Um, a lot of subscribers want me to make drinks. So the channel is for you guys. So hey, I gotta listen to you. So yeah, I'm gonna name it some kind of, I'm gonna do uh, drinks on Wednesdays and I'm gonna cook on Friday. So it, it's my first drink, guys. I mean, I'm not a bartender, I've never been a bartender and I've, uh, I've always been in the kitchen, but yeah, you know, we got the tools to do some research, inform yourself, and here is my first dish. I mean, they see how it is now. My first cocktail is gonna be, take a guess, come on. And I know who already knows what I'm gonna make, it, you know, yeah. Okay, so all these ingredients, all these sauces, whatever, I'm gonna make you the fame, famous Michelin. Michelin, for those that don't know about it, it's a Mexican drink, uh, very popular actually, all over uh, the world. And all it is, it's just a mix of, uh, 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 actually, you know what, let me, uh, uh, sort of explain uh, because there is chelada, there is michelada, and there is Cuban michelada. So pretty much chelada, the chela means beer, and it came from the, the terms like chelada. So chela means beer, and helada means cold. So cold beer. So, you know, you join the, the two words as chelada. So anyway, chelada is only beer, uh, lime, and salt. That's a chelada. There's nothing else out of the chelada. Now, when you have a michelada, you are beer, lemon, uh, you can use salt, but I'm gonna use the tagine. This is a very uh, a popular uh, spice. You're gonna use Tabasco. Uh, you can use all this type of sauces, but the most famous is Tabasco. Also, uh, salsa inglesa, liepere, and maggi. Maggi strat. A little bit of salt, and the uh, tomato, okay? This is called michelada. Now, the, this is Mexican michelada. I explained already what is chelada, okay? Now, what is the Cuban michelada is everything else but the clamato this is it. no clamato juice just everything so you know you i've been doing like my research like i say anyways when i come back i will show you how to make the uh yeah la michelada i hope everything goes well guys you know bear me this is the first time i'm literally doing making drinks uh, uh for my channel so thank you so much for uh being with me Subscribe, please. You haven't subscribed yet, and I'll be right back because I have to, you know, set up the camera so you guys can take a really good look. Oh, don't forget, uh, I don't have the ice here, but obviously we have to add ice, okay? And I uh, hope I'm not forgetting anything else. I'll be right back, and I'll see you when I see you. Just yeah, just now, okay? Stay with me. Okay, I'm back with the uh, michelada, and this is it. These are all the ingredients. I'm ready. Like I say, this is the first time I'm on camera making a drink. Well, this time I'm making a drink, actually. I always buy the beer I already like, made. So, anyways, first of all, oh, excuse me, I gotta go get the glass. I'll be mean, not a glass, it's uh, una jarra. Yeah, I had it uh, chilled. See, it's gotta be chilled, it's gotta be nice and cold. That's what I took uh, my time. Okay, anyways, so we use the uh, tahin. See, remember that that one? You can find it at any Latin stores. And uh, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna ram the rim of the uh, jarra. Okay, just enough. All you do here, we just uh, go around. It's gonna get mess, messy, like the kitchen, guys. You know? Anyways, so we go like this. Just make sure you grab any, you know, all the salt, because that's the taste when you're tasting the uh, the michelada. 
Okay, here we go. Look, isn't that nice? Give me one more. I have to have this napkin, okay? So we're good with this. Okay, we put it aside right here. And uh, we might use some of it later, okay? So, okay, here. One thing I want to uh, tell you guys. Uh, I've been doing my, you know, looking at how many micheladas all over Mexico, please. They make the micheladas different. Everyone has their style as they are different. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start adding all this stuff. Up. Maggie. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, shape. Not shape, but like, you know, five. One, two, three, four, five of Leah. Okay, very. Uh, salsa inglesa in Spanish. Okay, now we go with the uh, Tabasco. Yes, Tabasco sauce. One, two, three, four. It depends how spicy you like. When you start making your own michelada, you, oh, I put too much. It's the same concept of cooking. Okay, there we go. So, what is next? Here, oh, lime. These are huge uh, lime gas. You can use, uh, a lot of people use the uh, the concentrate uh, lime juice already come in a bottle. So as you can see, there's a lot of juice in this half a lime, okay? So that is all I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this only this half because there's a lot of it, okay? So, you know, I'm realizing that uh, the bar is just uh, the clean as you go, clean as you go. Okay, here you go. So we have all this mix right here. I'm gonna make, you know, give a little stir. And we have our uh, ice. Now we, I'm adding the ice. You can use ice, crush. Uh, I'm using ice cube. That's it. Got it. Put it away. Okay, now time for the mix. I am going to use uh, the uh, Clamato juice first because uh, the beer has a, what's it called? Uh, foam, see? Espuma. Okay, here we go. Clamato juice, just about uh, that much. Okay, and then we're gonna add the Chela, Cerveza, beer. Here we go. The beer goes in. Yes, that's looking more like a chelada. Michelada, not chelada, sorry. So we're gonna a little bit of stir right here. Yes. You know what? That's, that's, that's looking pretty good to me. At the end, I like to do this. Just a little more tajin. That's it. Not too much. And I would like to... Uh, what's here? Yeah, here. Give me one more second. I have to have all this stuff ready, okay? But I don't. I'm, I'm learning. Right now, I'm learning. I'm learning process. So, this is it. Uh, this is michelada. I'm gonna taste it right now because it's, uh, I need to know how these flavors. But this is the measurement that I think that is balanced with. You know, you don't want to overpower more. Uh, uh, Worst is I said Maggie or more than the other one or Tabasco. I'm gonna taste it right now. Wow. Julio, you're ready to buy that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's pretty good. Literally, I like it. But I like it more with more Tabasco. See what I mean? Everybody has their own taste. So I'm going to put a little bit more Tabasco. But it, literally, this, the, uh, the taste uh, of this is, yeah. It makes it Tabasco. And then we see it. Oh yeah, mmm, picante. The rest of the beer you can add it. You can keep adding it, right? Never nothing goes to waste. 
So this is it, guys. Uh, look at the mess. Jeez. At least in my kitchen, you don't look, you don't see my bed. Anyway, thank you so much for my first, to being here, my first, first, first uh, bartending uh, show. This is the Michelada. Uh, Mexican popular drink on Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. It's gonna be Wednesday's Julio's uh, cocktail. So, my first drink is a Michelada. Uh, try it at home, please. Uh, like I say, it, this, this drink is, is, is awesome. I just, uh, I'm so amazed because I made it. I'll see you next time on uh, Julio's Kitchen cocktails. Yeah, thank you for being with me, and uh, until next time. Subscribe, please, if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, see you next time.